Hello, in this video I'm going to cover the game between Magnus Carlsen and Richard Rappert from Tata Steel in round 6. Uh, here we had uh, a very calm game until one point and let's see what happened. We had uh, the Queen's Gambit and after e6 Magnus chose the Catalan opening with g3 after which Rappert took on c4, went for the open Catalan, bishop g2, and here black tries to stop knight e5 by knight c6. He's stopping knight e5 because he wants to keep his c4 pawn and he doesn't want to allow uh, white to capture with the knight. So he went for this and white castles, rook b8 to go for b5 next or a6, b5, and now bishop b3 by Magnus. Before he goes to c1 or c2 with the queen, he wants to protect the d4 pawn. After this, here there were plenty of uh, alternatives. One of them is knight c3. By the way, bishop b3 is not the main move here. It's rarely played. And after knight c3, which I think is the main move here, he prepares e4 with some d5, and if black goes for b5, to go for knight e5 maybe. A possible capture on d4 is not very good because of e3, I would say, yeah. Because of e3, and if knight goes to f5, then to capture, capture, and now you choose between knight f7 and knight c6. I think knight c6 is better because in that case knight can very easily get out. While after knight f7 you take the rook again, but it's not so likely that the knight will come out. So after this, knight e5, if black captures, d5, it's not so good to exchange queens because after this, knight d7, bishop c6, white is paralyzing black, the b5 pawn is also under attack. Knight b5 might, might come next, so I'm not suggesting this. Also, if you just defend by a6, there is also bishop e3. Trying to completely paralyze black by not allowing even rook b6, which would in some way make it easier for black. After bishop e3, there is also idea like knight e4, knight c5. Or knight e4 bishop c5, which would uh, put some pressure on d7 knight. Also, doubling on the d file would just make the knight so uncomfortable, so it's not a good position. And after d5, it's best to go for knight d7. And after bishop c6, there is still some really nice compensation here for the pawn, because after this, bishop b7 takes takes, and queen c2 white puts some pressure on black, has more space, that's one way to continue the game. But after knight c3, I think that b5 is not the, the forced move. Black can just continue playing like bishop e7 or maybe a6, I'm not sure. But let's go back to the game. After rook b8, Magnus played bishop e3. And now Rapport plays bishop d6. He doesn't try to challenge the bishop on e3 by knight d5, which could result in bishop g5 and trying to provoke f6, but also bishop e7 is possible. And after a couple of exchanges, going e4, I think this position would be double-edged. Black is a pawn up and white has more space, so it's a balanced position. But he went for bishop d6. He went for a quick development. And now queen c1. The reason why he doesn't play queen c2 maybe is because knight b4 and queen c4 leads to b5. And after bishop b7, the bishop gets easily out of some bad position. And after queen c1, knight b4 is not going with tempo. So white has time to just develop normally like knight bd2 or something else with capturing on b5 next and maybe in case of b5 to go b3 and to just go for the pawn sacrifice but not allowing c5 at any moment so that's why queen c1 was played to not allow knight b4 with tempo and 
Here black goes with b5 immediately. Depending this pawn, but actually it, it just weakens the pawn structure, but b5 is mostly played because of bishop getting to b7, not because of defending the pawn. Now white goes with b3, using the undefended knight on c6. And if black tries to hold on to this pawn by knight a5, there is bishop d2 attacking the knight. And if b4, there is bc4 and black is for sure worse in this position because of the strong center. And if he goes for c6, then white can capture and take on c4 with knight d2. And still white is better because he will eventually get a better structure. And also he has uh, he will have a full center so he goes for bishop b7 magnus takes on c4 and he now they have a material balance but slightly worse pawn structure on the black side black takes on c4 queen c4 and now knight b4 going for bishop a6 maybe or some other variations like bishop d5 and capturing the pawn a2 that's why Mag Magnus uh, combines those two, puts the pawn away from a2 and also kicks this knight from b4. He goes back to d5 and now bishop g5. And now Rapport finishes development by castling, knight bd2, pretty natural moves and now white goes for e4. He wants to use the fork on the bishop and the knight on f6. So h6 seems like the logical response for black because now you challenge white to give up the bishop pair. If he goes to h4 then g5 also comes to consideration. Bishop on h4 is very bad when the pawn is on g3 so it wasn't such an attractive uh, option for Magnus. f4 doesn't come to consideration. e3 also because... The knight can capture it on the next move or just knight g4 next. So he took on f6 and now knight f6 to control e4. Because if he takes with the queen then there is e4. With e5 next. Although he has knight b6 but still e4 is, uh, is played and black pieces might feel a bit cramped. So knight f6. The purpose is just to stop e4. But, using the weak pawn structure, white plays rook fc1, trying to somehow stop the freeing move c5. In this position, c5 would be an excellent way to neutralize the pressure and maybe to take over the position because, let's not forget, black has a bishop pair and usually when the position opens up, until then white has a slight edge because of a better pawn structure, but white is playing against opening up the position and now black goes knight e7 he wants to get this c5 at any cost but magnus now plays queen a4 first he targets the a7 pawn and in that way he wants to stop c5 but rapport anyways plays c5 and now if if dc5 then there is also knight c5 because you cannot capture an a7 since rook a8 just traps the queen. So after c5, queen a7 seems like the most principled. Here it's not possible to capture on d4 because after queen d4 there is no way to somehow justify the pawn sacrifice. After bishop f3 there is knight f3 to avoid bishop e5. There's just not uh, enough compensation for the lost pawn. So after this, the only way to continue for Rapport was bishop f3. And now how to recapture this pawn? If knight captures, there's rook a8. And after rook a8, you attack on a3. So after queen b7, just capture knight d4 and rook a3. The material is pretty reduced. And the only critical line here is what happens if knight c6. But... Even in that case, black doesn't have to play passively with uh, queen e8. He can just play queen f6. These rooks on the first rank are quite vulnerable. In case of rook a3, just capture with the bishop and knight is untouchable because of the rook on c1. 
you cannot uh, take on d7 immediately because of rook a1, losing the rook. So that was maybe the way to go for a rapport. So that's why Magnus chose to capture with the bishop on f3, but still rapport took on d4. It's not possible immediately to capture like this because of bishop e5. So that's why rook a2 was played, to avoid this. And here a move like e5, I don't think that th this kind of move would uh, solve all the issues because after e5, yes, you defend the pawn on d4, but I think that black pieces have to be more active, like getting the knight to e5 or something else. And also with e5, you increase the scope of the bishop. It might go to d5 and put some additional pressure to black's king. So maybe that's something that uh, Rapport didn't like in this position. Also, ideas like knight c4 after e5 are also <clears throat> quite dangerous with bishop c6 next. Putting some pressure on the e5 pawn. So he didn't want to defend this pawn by pushing e5 and uh, creating some holes in the position. He wanted to counterattack the pawn on a3. Something that was better than this was to play knight e5. Now there is a threat of rook a8 next to capture on a3. Also, if you capture on d4 immediately, there is bishop a3. Again, using the fact that uh, the rook on c1 is undefended and if queen d8 to just recapture and attack the knight on d2. If this happens, then you just take on d2 and black is fine. If the bishop goes back to g2, then black has d3. And now white has to exchange, because if he doesn't, if he plays something like e3 or e4, then there is rook c8. White will have lots of issues with the d-pawn. Let's say if he just tries to defend the rook on c1 like this, then rook c2 is also quite annoying. So knight e5 is the best. And after bishop g2 to go d3, to exchange this problematic pawn I would say and after queen e3 to defend the pawn to just capture capture and go queen a5 the knight on e5 is very good it blocks some knight c4 ideas and still the position would be very very rich but after rook a2 he plays queen e7 attacks the a pawn now Magnus tries somehow to to defend this pawn by pushing it now rook fd8, and finally Magnus takes a pawn on d4. Okay, let's go back a bit. What happens if e5 is played? Well, if e5 is played, then there is bishop c6, there is just pushing the a pawn. Yeah, this a pawn would be just too strong to deal with. I think that with this bishop covering rook a8, it's just impossible to stop the pawn. So Rapper tr tried something to stop this pawn and he played this move, improving the rook position. And now Magnus took on d4 and Rapport makes this move, rook b4. Trying to challenge the pawn on a4. Maybe the best way to try to keep this position alive is to go knight e5 with the threat of bishop a3 next. If white played queen a1, still this position is very tough to hold. After capturing, capturing, there is too much support on the a-pawn, but at least there is no bishop which could uh, support the pawn. So after queen a7, a5, black still has some chances to survive. At least the a-pawn is blocked now and there is no definite uh, way to break through here. In the game something else happened, he played rook b4, queen c3 and now knight b6. That doesn't stop the pawn. He goes a5 and Rapport's idea was to just stop it like this to pin the rook on the a file and to somehow block the a pawn but now Magnus counter pins by queen e3 and now the knight cannot jump back to c8 to defend the queen on a7 because of rook c8 and after queen e3 black is just a rook down so now black has an issue with uh, with the knight on b6 and what happens after white plays a simple rook cc2 to defend the rook on a2 he went he went back to e7 and now after rook cc2 now the knight is in trouble 
it cannot go, go back to c8 because I, once again we have this intermezzo move rook c8 and after queen e3 to input this and after all these exchanges white is a piece up and also has a, a very good a pawn he needs somehow to kick this queen from this diagonal e3 c5 and he goes for bishop g5 but it doesn't help so much white's queen goes to c5 still a b6 is a big threat if you go rook c8 i can just capture on b6 and after this to capture an a7 black is a piece down and also the a pawn is getting promoted so it's very hopeless so bishop e7 seems like the biggest chance but black's only hope is that white is going to repeat most by queen e3 bishop g5 queen c5 but that's not gonna happen in this position white captures on b6 if bishop c5 then b a7 and white is a piece up also it might become two pieces because of the a pawn so the only way to continue for black was to capture this rook and to hope for something like this white doesn't capture immediately on a2 he captures the bishop on e7 and now white is white has two pieces in the pawn or a rook white's queen has to keep capturing like this but white captures with check king h7 and after b7 rapport resigned in this position because the b pawn is just too far advanced if black tries to hold with something like queen b2 there is queen d7 and targeting the f pawn if f5 happens then queen e6 that's not a solution if king g8 there is queen e8 again losing the f pawn if king g6 then the king gets too exposed maybe bishop e4 is one idea also queen d3 is the next idea trying to provoke f5 if f5 then queen d6 and white simply doesn't have a, a problem here black doesn't have a solution in this position if king goes to f6 there is knight e4 and if king g6 there is always some discovered check like knight c5 with knight d7 let's say this and promotion rook b8 knight d7 and white ends up being a piece up in this position if if black tries something like this going for rook b1 trying to use the pin on the d file then white has a simple bishop e4 check and bishop b1 losing the rook so that was it thank you so much for watching and see you very soon bye